Here's how to add a Google Analytics property if you're using WordPress and Monster Insights. The first thing you want to do is go to your Google Analytics account and click the Sign Into Analytics link. Next, click the Admin cog in the lower left corner of the screen. Now at the top of the screen, click Create. And in the drop-down, click Property. Now you'll see the Create a Property screen. In your Property Name field, give your property an easy-to-recognize name. Then select your country, your reporting time zone, and your currency, and click the Next button. This Describe Your Business page allows Google to better understand your business, so use the drop-down and select your industry's category and your business size. And on the next screen, choose your business objectives. These are the reports that are personalized to help Google understand your business better. You can just select all of these if you like and click Create. Now to start collecting data, you need to choose a platform. Since we're setting this up for a WordPress website, you'll want to choose Web. Now it's time to set up your web stream. So type in your web address and be sure to use the correct web address prefix when you fill out the web address. For example, www or non-www. Then in the stream name, type a name for your website. Now, since we're setting up Monster Insights for your WordPress site, in the Enhanced Measurement box, switch the toggle to Off. When you do, you'll see a pop-up that will ask if you want to turn off the Enhanced Measurement. So click Turn Off. Once you're done, in the upper right-hand corner, click the blue box that says Create and Continue. Now you'll see the Google Tag and Web Stream Details windows slide in, so just close both of those out by clicking the X. OK, on the next screen, click Next. Now you'll see a window saying that your data collection is pending, so you'll want to click the blue button that says Continue to Home, and you'll be redirected to your Google Analytics homepage. To finish the setup, click the Admin cog in the lower left of your screen. Now under the Data Collection and Modification section, click Data Retention. And on the next screen under User and Event Data Retention, use the drop-down and make sure that both of these event data and user data save 14 months. Once you're finished, click Save. And you're all done setting up an analytics property for your WordPress site if you're using Monster Insights. Now to learn more about how to set up Monster Insights on your WordPress site, be sure to check out the link in the description to how to add Google Analytics to WordPress the right way. And by the way, grab our free beginner's guide that demystifies GA4, explains the key reports, and helps you understand your site's traffic. Just go to monsterinsights.com forward slash YTVIP and download your free copy.